Happening now, just a few days of summer vacation left for a lot of kids in New Mexico, a lot of parents cheering that on. That does mean it is time for some new school clothes, school supplies, and yes, school shots. News 13's David Romero live in the Newsplex with more on those. Good morning once again, David. Good morning, Matt. It's not only, not only the little ones who need those immunizations, but mid-school, high school, and some college students will need to be up to date as well. Now, some doctors say one critical vaccination for students in this age group is for the human papillomavirus. They say there is now an urgency for mid-school girls to get the vaccine, and they're also seeing evidence that boys should be getting it around the age as well. The um, HPV vaccine, which uh, prevents cervical cancer in women, uh, and now there's some talk about recommending it for men because it would prevent cervical cancer in women if men were vaccinated against the human papillomavirus. And for the little ones in the four to six age group, they're going to need things like polio and measles booster shots. Another critical set of shots that the students will need are for whooping cough and tetanus. Now doctors say parents should check with their child's school requirements as to what they will need to have to be current on their immunization record. And doctors say it's also important to make that appointment with your child's doctor as soon as possible before school starts because this is usually a very busy time for them as well. Matt, back to you. Good information. Thank you, David. Doctors say they usually do hear some concerns from some parents about their kids getting the vaccinations, but the doctors say don't worry. For the most part, the vaccinations are safe, and if anything, kids will have just a mild reaction to them. That is at most.